Hey guys, what's up? Andre here of Cinemov.com and today I bring you the Hawkeye Avengers Age of Ultron video review. And to give you a short summary, I think it's a good evolution type of figure, no total revolution, probably not a must have if you have the first Hawkeye, but I will give you all the details in the review. So let's start first with the box. 60 on the box, as you can see a movie picture of Jeremy Renner, the actor of Hawkeye. And as you can see they have the same style going on with the letter A, the Hawkeye logo and everything is um, colored in this pinkish, uh, violet, purple tones. It's quite a popping color tone I think. And it fits perfectly to Black Widow, Captain America and the other Avengers boxes. So it's the MMS 289 and I think this follows the Black Widow figure if I'm correct. The inlay you've got is just uh, one layer with uh, different compartments for the arrow tips, the different uh, bows and of course the figure itself, but uh, nothing really special. Here we go, Hawkeye right out of the box. And I think the first impression when I took it out of the box was it was okay. I mean I saw the phenomenal prototype photos, they were really awesome and I think they did a lot of work on the contrast levels and did a lot of Photoshop here and there. And I think this was just a bit too much so that the final product couldn't really uh, hold up with it. But uh, it's really an evolution to the first Hawkeye head sculpt and a lot better than the first one. I will see and give you a comparison in some minutes. Then of course as you can see here already the articulation on this overbending um, elbow is done pretty well and I think this is also a lot better than on the first figure. But uh, let's go to the accessories first. So of course you get this nice uh, Hawkeye styled uh, stand or base quite nice in the Hawkeye colors. So basically you get this new piece here which he's basically wearing the first time in the movie. It's a, I think an outer loader it's called but guys have no idea how this works in reality so it looks like nine arrows coming out of this main unit piece and actually you got two of these pieces here that you can attach to the boots on the side. So this is like the uh, default stands and here is the extended version but yeah so it's all plastic then of course you've got the second bow which is uh, foldable and this is amazing look at this carbon purple structure very cool of course you've got uh, all the pieces that you can bend and place and it works quite well so that's definitely a nice piece nice details nice paint apps but also here all plastic. Then of course you get the sunglasses that I will show you afterwards on the figure. I compared it to the first version and it looks, I think it's identical. It's the same sculpt and almost the same material that they used. And then of course you have different hand sculpts like this pointy finger. All right, so let's do a quick focus on his main weapon. So what we got here is the main bow with the string and just have a quick check on the articulation so basically you can easily rotate the arms and then let's have a quick and detailed look on the bow which is magnificent i mean all these carbon styled purple elements it's awesome here the wiser thing there's even other uh, other attachment i think on the lower part which is now hidden from the from the hand this part here so that's quite amazing then of course with every bow you need a lot of explosive tips uh, electronic tips and whatever so basically you've got this uh, one compartment here which has more basic um, arrow tips so let's have a look if I can open this and you will then attach those tips to the to the actual quiver so these are more basic style tips very flat and thin let's see if we can show you one so that's about it very basic uh, these are let's say i think 12 arrow tips from the basic style and then you have a second compartment which has um, more advanced stuff like a grappling hook 
and of course uh, well this could be like a, I think this could be the net the net gun uh, sorry the net arrow tip in the in the out of the uh, Marvel Avengers Age of Ultron book you've got a quite a good explanation of the different tips and for example this one here is the explosive arrow so he can definitely play a bit like Rambo and blow some stuff up then as you can see here the arrows have uh, different ends so these have like silver highlights which wasn't the case on the first figure so that's quite nice okay let's continue to the quiver on the back side another main piece so where on the first release uh, the actual cover was okay as well the main disaster on the first one was the attaching mechanism and this is done a lot better so on the first one you had like two variants you had a strap or a string which worked okay and then you had like uh, this clip on thing that you also get on this one but the clip on thing on the first one that you had to attach by yourself just got damaged i think on every second figure i mean it broke the second day i had the figure and i never could got uh, re-glue it back again so that it hold in one piece but here it was the solution is a lot better so basically it's a clip or a clip a clip mechanism that is uh, fixed onto the back side and here you've got this clip here inserted into the back side of the quiver so that's about it for the quiver itself i think the execution as well is done pretty good it's not this rotating mechanism like on the first one um, and you still have to fill the crew by yourself so you have like that's it three three six at least uh, 12 arrows or 12 real arrows and, and here on the front side you have got a shorter one so this shorter one arrow you insert manually and i think it looks like an emergency arrow so as you know it's a bit of a limitation with hawkeye he's no real superhero as uh, demonstrated in the movie and I think this could be like his last um, arrow when he goes in like emergency situations because I mean he's just as good as many um, arrows he has left. So and this works like this you have two halves that you can take apart and uh, this might take a few seconds here. It's a, still a bit flimsy I have to say it's not a perfect solution but in the end you just do this once and then it's probably done forever you won't uh, go and change a lot of arrows i think all right and here we go the two halves separated and the concept is quite easy you have as i said three 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 and three normal arrows or long arrows and between each real arrow you have like a, a dummy stuff a dummy black stuff that just fills up the gaps uh, here's the magnet and here's the little socket where you can connect it to the other piece and then of course you have to align it like in a V shape so it looks quite nice put together and it gives you a bit more free space if you want to uh, put on the bigger tips arrow tips like the explosive tip or yeah probably the hook won't fit, fit but there are some bigger um, variants of arrow tips that you still can put into the into the quiver just uh, putting them at the lowest place of the quiver so something like this so that's about it for the for the quiver uh, it also has some nice weathering going on on the paint application so let's give me a second here to put it back together so that's about it and as you can see here on the edges there's a bit of weathering not much but it's in general quite a nice a nice accessory so let's put it back onto the onto the back piece here and that's about it so this holds quite well and looks really really cool all right let's take some time to focus on the head sculpt which is basically one of the main selling reasons here as with every hot toys release here with the sunglasses on i think the the hairline is quite okay and doesn't look too oversized which is sometimes a problem with hot toys and their glasses uh, it looks quite similar to the first uh, uh, hawkeye edition with the, uh, with the sunglasses on but uh, taking it off here we go 
Jeremy Renner and it's quite a good likeness, a lot lot better than the first one. Uh, for me Jeremy Renner is not like the wow actor, I mean he can act but it's not like he has this unique aura of a Hollywood star. I mean he, I think that's probably the purpose, he's like an everyday guy, uh, everyday joke guy type and they really gave him this background in the Avengers. I mean, in the first Avengers, he, he was like an agent, and that's it, and with some skills in archery. And they even fleshed it out more in the second Avengers with the background story of his real life family. But in the end, that's the type of way they wanted to go. It's like yeah, so, some guy you can relate to. And in the end, well, it's Jeremy Renner. It doesn't really uh, make me jumping right out of the seat, but it's really good good um, head sculpt. So the, the main focus I think went on the paint application and a lot of re-sculpting in the forehead area and also on the cheek. Cheek area is a lot better than on the first one and you will see this in a second. Okay so here we go with a comparison shot uh, between the two Avengers Hawkeyes. Left the new one from Age of Ultron and right the first one, so in direct comparison the older one really fails and loses and I mean it, it was never a perfect head sculpt, there was a lot of debate I think already on this one but it just doesn't have the, the realness in the, in the face sculpt or the likeness as it has on the new one so for me a total go for the Avengers Age of Ultron version and basically it's then still a question whether you like the sleeveless version or the tunic version here. But uh, in general the first went for big money, I, know, I have no idea what the current value is. But I think it's definitely losing in terms of uh, likeness. Alright, then let's have a quick 360. As you can see here the two quivers. I liked the old one, it was just all black, but um, the general uh, mechanisms with the two rotating different parts have like arrows on the top that rotate and the arrow tips on the bottom that rotate. It was a nice concept, but uh, I, will I won't take it off because I will never get back on again. So that's about it for the comparison between the two Jeremy Renners here and as you can see just one last look. The old looks a bit, I don't know, I have no idea, he looks a bit too stiff. Just not as real as the new Jeremy Renner Hawkeye figure. But again, it's, I think it's not as good as they teased it on the prototype pictures. So let's do a quick focus on the outfit, starting with the boots. They're almost identical to the first Hawkeye version. Just this one has this magnetic attachable auto loaders. Then the trousers are also quite identical to the first version. They are not as tight to the body or to the legs as they are on the first. But uh, also these belts and buckles are almost the same. Then the major change of course is this medieval tunic or something like that I would call it. Uh, it has a separation here. I will show this afterwards when I take it off. So basically um, it really fits the background, this archery background Hawkeye has and it has some nice details going on. I mean the sleeveless look from the first Avengers movie was okay but I think this one really fits the character a bit better. See there's some highlights, some highlights going on, some really nice knitting, there seems to be a red line going from the shoulder over the elbow to the to the hands. There are some two gauntlets here that there are separate pieces that uh, hide the, the ends of the tailoring here. But all in all quite good. On the back side there's one detail I want to show. Let's take off the quiver hopefully. So here you've got a quiver. So here you've got a zipper that really works and you can open and close it perfectly and here on the downside there's even a small net tailored into the, into the tunic which is really really nice. So 
how can I doubt the tunic? It's quite easy to take off, but probably not meant to because this is the inside of the tunic. It looks a bit wasted. Here, for example, they reinforced the collar with some plastic. But in general, it's really easy and possible to take it off. And it looks almost like a functional wear. And beneath this, there's even another shirt, a white one. So that's quite cool. But probably I will leave it on just with the tunic. So next up is the articulation. I will put the tunic back on just to show you some restrictions, but there aren't too many. So this is not the latest dance-off contest. Uh, what I wanted to show you here is the restriction of the arm articulation on the first one. So you had a bit of range, but it was just a bit awkward. The forearm was very strict somehow and you could achieve it somehow to grab into the back quiver but uh, it doesn't really look realistic where here on the new one everything is possible without any limitations so this is really an improvement here on the avengers age of ultron version and definitely it works really good also on the legs uh, this, they're a little bit less restricted than on the first one so that's good that they improved on these articulation parts. So I think we close this video review with a last action pose. Alright, so last pose in this video review, a bit of an action pose, nothing special and nothing fancy and easy achievable. So I think I like this release, it's uh, not perfect, the likeness could be even a bit better, it's not like on the prototype photos, but it really is a big improvement compared to the first uh, Hawkeye. The tailoring is superb, I also like the concept on the quiver and the attach attaching mechanisms, so that's quite nice. And I think for two thirds US dollars, when it hits the borders of Europe or the States, it will be an okay deal. But uh, as I just compared it, it's about 40 US dollars more expensive than the first release. So that's it all folks, I hope you enjoyed this video review on Hawkeye and until next time, bye bye.